Greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong. Hey, that wasn't the most smooth intro in the world, but <laughs> it'll do. Oh, it's so friggin' hot in here. Hey, you know, San Diego's been having record weather, record highs as far as temperature going. So anyway, greetings, fellow citizens. This is Citizen Kong, and welcome to another Fez Night. Tonight's Fez Night shall be entitled Fez Night Light. Yeah, that's because, once again, I am unprepared, and Fez Night Light means that it will be less complicated, less filling, less controversy, and maybe it's only two or three parts. But anyway, before we get started, the woman that should not be mentioned happens to be here, and we're going to say goodbye. Bye! Yeah, that was the, that was the terrorist fist bump for all you right-wing people out there. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get started here. Um, because it's such a hot, hot, hot night. Oh, let me get the lights arranged a little bit better. Hey, is that better? <laughs> oh, man. I have this glass of, uh, of ice with the lemon already in it. Hold on. I have this glass with, uh, with ice. And look, the, the ice is already melting. Usually by the time I get started, the ice is doing okay. And then I had this uh, Bombay gin in the freezer, and it's still, but it's all like starting, everything's starting to warm up. <laughs> it's, it's got it's to be like 100 degrees in here. <laughs> and I'm not running the fans, you know, I don't have AC or anything. And, uh, oh, all right, but anyway, oh look, it's still a little bit thick, and the gin's pretty cold. I'm going to make an extra stiff drink tonight. Yes, 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 yes. Let's see how that goes. Schweppes tonic water. You know, I, I read somewhere that some people treat leg cramps with quinine, but quinine's not for everyone. And some people have a pretty severe reaction to it. So check with your doctor first. Oh, so let's see. Oh man, I'm looking forward to this. And I was able to get lemon this time, which is my preference. So if you, if you ever, and when you go to a bar and order gin and tonic, it's almost always the tonic is never good. And it's nice if they serve the tonic water in little small bottles. I mean, sometimes I've even been to a place I said, can I sample your tonic water first? Is it flat? Is it any good? <laughs> All right, cheers. Oh, wow, that's a big help. Definitely a big help. I had a couple of comments on my iPod little speaker system here. Bobo McGraw said, what, it has a remote control? Yes, it has this little tiny remote control. That, that All it does is like turn it on and off, turns the volume up and down, and I can skip forward to song to song, but I can't go through the menus or anything. And I'm afraid of using this thing because it's so damn small I might lose it. Hold on a second, I'm going to go shut this window. <sighs> Don't want to bother the neighbors in case I get too loud. Oh, where was I? Okay, so let's see. We've had the drink. Tonight's Fez Night is entitled Fez Night Light. <laughs> and, uh, oh my. We're drinking the gin and tonic. Eh, it's still pretty cold and refreshing. Another hint for you guys out on the cruise, out on the make. Gin and tonic makes an excellent drink if you're doing the bar scene because unlike beer or maybe like, you know, uh, foo-foo drinks like strawberry daiquiris or, or, uh, or even like my other favorite, a uh, white Russian, in the course of an evening, it'll tend not to make your breath really rank, okay? So like if you're drinking certain types of beer or certain foo-foo drinks, by about 2 o'clock in the morning by bar closing bar closing time, the prime time for swooping in on those, you know, the, the, the unable to get home, well, you know, picking up, thinning out the herd, as they say. <laughs> At least your breath won't smell so rank if you've been drinking gin and tonics, or gin, straight gin, for that matter of fact. It has a, a clean, a clean taste. <laughs> Not that I know anything about, you know, oh, I, that's, I haven't uh, stayed till uh, closing in bars for, for a long, long time. Uh, anyway, I can't. And, uh, oh yeah, so yeah, Bobo McGraw, 
It does have a remote control. And the other comment was, oh, if you're crying about money all the time, looks like you can afford an iPod and a speaker system. Well, yes, I've, I've got that. Um, I got the iPod like two Christmases ago, and I got the speaker system one Christmas ago, okay? So like, yes, oh yeah, I'm a rich guy. I've got a printer and a computer and an iPod and some pictures on my wall. Oh, sorry for complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I get that from like uh, from the type of people that go like, oh yeah, those people on welfare. I saw somebody down at the welfare office and they look dressed pretty well to me. Well, you know, you don't know the whole story. Yeah, they could they could be a total cheat, right? They could be totally cheating on welfare, or there was a gift from their uncle. You don't know. Come on. <laughs> oh God. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yes, once again, I have no notes for Fez Knight. None at all. But originally, Fez Knight was created to uh, uh, thank my new subscribers, uh, and welcome my new subscribers, and thank those that have subbed to me. And um, in the past, my loyal friends. And let me go to the very end of my subscriber page. Uh, I mean, the number doesn't matter that much to me, but the number's getting up there. It's, it's getting up there. Oh, excuse me. Feel free to drink at home. <laughs> Some of you are probably having coffee right now. Or tea. Tea's very nice. Oh. Get to the end of my subscriber page. I, I want to say, look, and I do this every so often. I apologize for not catching up on my comments. And I will. I do read them, and I appreciate, I appreciate everybody that comments. And, um, um, and gives me a rating, that's nice, you know? For a while there, somebody was giving me low ratings, you know, but I don't care. I won't, I won't de, de uh, unhook that thing or whatever. De unhook it. You know, disable the rating system or disable the comments. I just let it, let it roll. Let the chips fall where they may. Every now and then I get a hater out there, that's okay. They go away after a while. Mm. Hey, I dug out my, this classic vintage t-shirt. What do you think? Bullwinkle and Rocky, eh? Eh? Oh, and I love that Pretenders tune I started at the beginning. Man, good, good times. Wasn't there... Uh, nothing was quite as good as that first Pretenders album. The Pretenders.